Today, I'm going to be showing you the best tips and tricks for the Apple Watch. This video is going to cover all the tips, tricks, and hidden features that you're going to need to know to use your Apple Watch like a complete pro and prepare you for the release of the Apple Watch Series 8 this fall. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video, the best tips and tricks for your Apple Watch. Say for some reason you need to take a screenshot on your Apple Watch, you guys can actually do that and I want to show you guys how to utilize that. It's super easy to do. So if we were using an iPhone to take a screenshot, you'd hold the power button and and volume button down but it's different for an apple watch all you have to do is just actually press the digital crown and the power button at the same time so let me show you guys how this is done all i'm going to do is just click the digital crown and the power button at the same time just like this and as you can see a screenshot is taken and if you weren't sure if it was taken it's super easy to do all you have to do is just go to your phone which i'm going to pull up right now and you guys are going to see if i go to my photos on my apple watch you guys are going to be able to see that screenshot right here as you can see, I have this one and I have this one I took recently. So if you guys have to take a photo or a screenshot on your Apple Watch for any information you need to share with someone or keep it in your photos, you guys can do that on your Apple Watch by clicking the digital crown and the power button at the same time. And it'll appear right in your photo album on your iPhone. It'll also appear on your photo album on your Apple Watch as well. I just figured I'd show it to you on my phone because it's easier to view. But as you guys can see that it's right here located in my photos and that's how you guys take a screenshot on the Apple Watch in case you ever need to do so. If you have an Apple Watch or any Apple product, I'm sure that you guys are aware that you can also use Siri on any of these Apple devices. Siri is a universal feature for all Apple products and it comes in very handy on your Apple Watch. I want to show you guys how to access that and you guys actually can access Siri through the digital crown like I previously showed you guys on this Apple Watch. It is super easy to do. All you have to do is just say you're in the app section for your Apple Watch. All you have to do is just hold down the digital crown like this and then Siri will pop up. You can say, hey Siri, show me the weather. And she'll show me the weather like that. And then you guys can ask her anything to get any information right at your fingertips or any data that you need. Siri is very helpful when it comes to using Apple products, especially when you have your Apple Watch right under your wrist and you need to get some information quickly. Siri is the way to go. And like I said, easy way to access her by just holding down that digital crown and you'll have it right at your fingertips on your Apple Watch Series 7. Right now we're looking at the face of the watch for your Apple Watch Series 7. As you can see, I have the specific design for my Apple Watch's face. But like I said, you guys can actually change this directly on your Apple Watch's homepage just by editing it right here. And I want to show you guys how to do that. All you have to do is just hold down your watch face like this. And it's going to back out or zoom out like this. And it's going to show you the options that you already have set up. And if you haven't set up any options, like you guys can see, I have contour. I have a Mickey Mouse one. And then I also have an activity analog. But if you want to add a new one, all you have to do is just click new right here. And then you're going to have the option to look at new watch faces such as these ones right here and you can choose which ones you want to add if you find them very cool there's tons of options to choose from so whatever you want to add if you just want to do the this one right here you just click add and then you click view like i said previously you guys can actually access all your apple watch features directly on an iphone if you have one and all you have to do is just go to this watch section which is located right here and then you're going to see we have all the features that you can access or change on your apple watch as you can see, I have all my faces to choose from. I can add more if I want to. I have my notifications, my app view, my dock general, all the settings you think you would need on your Apple Watch. You can find it right here through your iPhone. It even gives you all the apps and ways to edit them directly through your iPhone. And all these apps are located on your Apple Watch. So you can edit these in any way. I'm going to be walking you guys through tons of different features you can use using your iPhone setting for your Apple Watch. So definitely check this out when you guys get the chance. I'm going to dive into some amazing features you guys can utilize with this watch app on your iPhone to utilize your Apple Watch even better. As you guys can see, we are on my Apple Watch settings on my iPhone, and I want to show you guys one specific cool feature for the Apple Watch or any smartwatch, and that's the app view section. So if we look at my Apple Watch right here, as you guys are going to see, my apps are in this type of view, but you guys can change that if you guys feel like it's too crowded or a hassle to find these apps. And you can just go to your iPhone right here and just click on app view. And now you're going to have the option to have the grid view like I just showed you guys or the list view. So say we click list view right here, it's going to change the orientation of these apps on your Apple Watch. So now if we go back to my Apple Watch after changing this app view, you guys are going to see 
right when I click this, it's gonna show my apps like this, opposed to the grid view. And this allows for an easier way to find them if you guys think the grid view is too confusing. So like I said, it can be a hassle trying to find your apps and scrolling through all of them on this large array of the grid view. So the list view makes it easier and more organized, but it's up to you, it's your preference. I prefer grid view, honestly, I think it looks cooler that way and that's why I do it. But if it's up to you, you guys can choose between list view and grid view. And this is one way you can access this feature on your iPhone through your Apple Watch. Or you can do it on your Apple Watch settings just by using the watch itself. You don't have to use the iPhone. But since the iPhone's a bigger screen, it makes for an easier way to do this. So it's up to you whether you want to use your iPhone or Apple Watch to change these settings. But I just want to show you guys one of these features on the iPhone settings for your Apple Watch, which is the app view. So definitely check this out when you get the chance. Like I said, it's up to you which you prefer. And let's dive into some more great features on the settings for your Apple Watch. We also have the dock setting. So like I said, with the power button on your Apple Watch, if I hold this down, it's gonna take me to all of my recent apps that I've been on on my Apple Watch. But if you go back to the iPhone and click dock right here, you're gonna have the option to choose between recents or favorites. So if we click favorites, instead of when you click that power button, now all your favorite apps are going to pop up opposed to the recent ones. So this is an easier way to access all your favorite apps, the ones you spend the most time on. Like I said, I have the recents on, but if you click that power button after changing it to favorites, you're going to see all the favorite apps are going to pop up on your Apple Watch opposed to the recent ones. I do recents because it allows me to clear them more easily and I want to clear all the apps as fast as I can to save data and battery, but it's up to you. So definitely check out whether you want the recents or favorites on that dock using the power button, which is located right here on your Apple Watch and then you guys can figure out which works best for you as you spend more time utilizing your smartwatch and then next we have theater mode and what this does is by clicking this icon right here it's going to tell you what theater mode actually is and essentially theater mode turns on silent mode and keeps your screen dark until you tap the screen or press the digital crown or side button and this allows you to watch movies or be in a the theater any type of area where you're watching or listening to media, it'll allow you to have your iPhone or Apple Watch dim so you guys don't have any bright notifications pop up to distract the crowd or whoever you're with in case they want to watch their movie or watch that media in silence. So this prevents any disturbances when you guys are watching a movie and does a great job of that. So I definitely recommend turning that on if you're in a movie theater, you're at a play or anywhere where you guys don't want any notifications to go off or you don't want any bright screens occurring while you're watching that content. And then next we have our walkie talkie icon which is right here and as you guys can see if I click the walkie talkie say you have a friend or a colleague who has an Apple watch and they're located near you you guys can actually speak into your Apple watch and use it as a walkie talkie opposed to having to call them or text them on your iPhone or your phone you guys can use this walkie talkie just to speak to each other directly through this Apple watch I think it's super cool and it's kind of fun to use if your friend has an Apple watch so I definitely recommend checking out the walkie talkie if you have any colleagues or friends you want to try that that icon with and then next we have our do not disturb mode I'm sure most of you guys know what do not disturb is but it's right here on our Apple watch and by clicking that it's gonna allow you to have notifications turned off so if you're working and you don't want to procrastinate or receive any notifications that might be a distraction you can just turn on do not disturb like this and if you click on you're gonna have multiple options to choose from I'm gonna walk you guys through all of these but we have do not disturb we have a personal do not disturb mode a work one a sleep one the sleep one's very cool and I'm excited to show you guys that later on in the video it's definitely one of the newest and coolest features for the Apple Watch Series 7. But overall, this is the Do Not Disturb section. If you guys don't want to get any distractions, I definitely recommend turning that on. We have our flashlight, which I think is super cool. As you know, to turn on your flashlight, you have to go to Control Center on your iPhone, but you can actually use your Apple Watch as a flashlight as well. And it actually, by clicking it, what's gonna happen is your iPhone's gonna become a white screen, which actually acts as a very good flashlight. Let me show you guys how this works right now. By clicking it, you're gonna see that this white screen pops up and you guys can actually use that to navigate through the dark if you guys need to. As you can see, it's super bright and it's definitely worth checking out if you're in the dark so you don't need to pull out your phone. So I definitely recommend trying that out when you guys get the chance. If you're still using old fashioned, slow charging and messy lightning charging cables, it is time for you to say goodbye to those. Your phone has incredible MagSafe technology built right into it, which allows you to wirelessly and magnetically charge your devices. If you're going to invest so much money into an iPhone, then you should be giving yourself a premium experience which all starts with something that you need to do every day, and that is charging your actual device. 
Get the absolute most out of your iPhone with Elgear's 2-in-1 Lightning Charging Stand. This stand allows you to magnetically and wirelessly charge both your iPhone and your AirPods simultaneously. Place your phone anywhere on the sleek charging stand and you're going to feel that magnet automatically attach right to your phone. Elgear wanted to make sure that you can use your phone for all of its uses without having to take it off the stand, which is why they included dual coil technology so you can use your phone both vertically and horizontally in landscape mode. This means that you can still send your messages, emails, or anything else, or you can flip your phone sideways and watch your favorite videos and movies while your phone is still being charged in the background. This stand is made with the highest quality materials like metal and tempered glass, and they also put non-slip silicone on the bottom of the stand. Elgear used official MagSafe technology, so you never need to worry about your phone falling off the stand or having to fidget around with your phone to get it in the right position. As I already mentioned, this is a two-in-one lightning charging stand, so you can charge two devices at the same time by using the second wireless charger on the back of this stand. This is perfect for charging a pair of headphones or even a second iPhone. Wait no longer and finally go upgrade your charging experience by going to lgear.com, stop using those old fashioned slow charging and messy lightning cables and upgrade to the two in one lightning charging stand that's perfect for your desk or your nightstand and it's also being sold at an incredibly discounted rate. So go to lgear.com, the link's on the screen and down in the description, enjoy. Next we have our water lock and I'm sure most of you are aware if you have an Apple watch, you can actually swim in deep water and go on water with your Apple Watch and it will not break. It's very waterproof, but the water lock icon comes very well in handy when you guys swim in any water or go underwater with your Apple Watch. You want to make sure there's no water left behind in your Apple Watch after you're done swimming. So by turning on water lock, it's actually going to vibrate your Apple Watch and remove any excess water that was trapped inside your Apple Watch. So by clicking it, you guys are going to see it's going to start to shake my Apple Watch like this, if, especially if I turn down the digital crown, you're going to see it's going to eject that water like this. You're going to hear a vibrate coming out of your Apple Watch to ensure that all of it's getting out of there. And then once that's done, you guys can bet that all your water is going to be removed from that Apple Watch. Because as you guys know, you can swim with your Apple Watch. It's completely waterproof. Just to be better safe than sorry, you definitely want to have all that excess water removed out of that watch. So definitely turn that on after you guys do a deep dive in any water or go swimming. It comes in handy if you don't want to break your Apple Watch, even though I doubt it will. You can also edit them by just clicking edit right here, and you're going to be able to choose which ones you want to delete from your control center. And then you can actually click more right here, and you can add this one right here. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to add this one, but this is one way to edit that control center. And like I said, definitely check out the control center when you set up your smartwatch so you guys can use your smartwatch like a complete pro. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about for your Apple Watch is how easily and surprisingly efficiently you can send text messages on your Apple Watch. So I bet most of you guys assume that since it's an Apple Watch and has a much smaller screen than your iPhone, it might be more difficult to send any notifications or text anyone on your Apple Watch. But I want to show you guys that it's actually very easy to do and the Apple Watch Series 7 makes it so much more efficient when using your Apple Watch to text people. And I want to show you guys how to do that. So for example, if we go to text messages right here, I'm going to click text messages app right here and I want to start a new message. For example, I'm just going to click new message right here and I can add a contact. For example, I'm going to scroll down and choose my mom. And by clicking create message, you guys are going to see we have tons of already customized text messages you guys can send right off the bat by hello, what's up, on my way. Okay, all these options you guys can choose that are normal text messages that you receive and send on a daily basis. You can send those right here. So for example, I want to say hello to my mom. I can send that. And then I can also type too, but let's just send that first. And I also want to text her, for example, saying, how's your day? You guys can actually do this very easily on your Apple Watch. All you have to do is just swipe from one letter to the next, and it's going to pick up what you're saying very intuitively. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. If I want to say, how's your day? It's super easy to do. Watch what I do as I type this in. I'm just going to swipe, how's your day? Day, just like that. I'm going to click send like that. As you can see, it's much easier than you'd expect while using your Apple Watch. People would think that since the screen's so small, it's harder to do this, but the Apple Watch is very compatible when sending text messages. So I definitely recommend trying it if you're in a rush and you don't have time to pull out your phone or if you want to send a quick message. Like I said, the Apple iMessage gives you all of these base text messages that you normally send like, hello, how's your day on my way? 
all those types of text you guys can see when typing a message. So definitely give it a try when you get the chance. I definitely recommend trying it. And that's one way to use the text messages on your Apple Watch or your smartwatch. If you have a smartwatch, one of the best things you can do with it is actually track your fitness and data while working out or moving. And like I said, all smartwatches, especially the Apple Watch Series 7s, are a great way to do it. They're very intuitive. They can pick up your movement, walking, calories burned very well on this Apple Watch. And I want to show you guys a specific app that is meant for all of this that comes with the Apple Watch once you get it. And that's the activity app. So if we click on that right here, it looks like a bullseye. You guys are going to see I'm on the activity app right now. And it's going to show you how much I've moved, how much I've exercised and how much I've stood in the past day or weeks or months, however you want to track that. And it actually give you information on how to improve that and give you weekly goals and challenges to improve your well-being and health. So if I scroll down like this, you guys are going to see it's all giving me all the metrics that I've provided during the day. As you can see, I haven't moved much. I also haven't put this Apple Watch on, which is most likely the reason why that is. But if I scroll down, you're going to see my weekly summary right here. It's going to show all the movement and calories I've burned, all the steps, all the distances I've moved. These are just some metrics you guys can check out on your Apple Watch. You guys can actually check this out on your iPhone's activity app as well. Because once you get the Apple Watch, the activity app actually syncs into your iPhone as well. And you guys can actually change your goals as well. But I want to scroll to the right right here. And you guys are going to see all the monthly challenges. You guys get badges for everything you guys complete. You can close your rings. And the goal of the activity app is to close these rings like I showed at the beginning of this clip. As you can see, I have my movement, my walking, and my standing. The goal each day is actually to get those fully circled around the bullseye. And doing that, you guys actually will have a good way to track your health. And like I said, you guys can change these metrics depending on how much you want to move that day. So for example, if I want to burn a thousand calories a day, I want to make sure that I have my movement set to a thousand calories so I can circle and complete that ring once it's done. An app that goes hand in hand with the activity app I just showed you guys is the workout app that you can find on your smartwatch, specifically the Apple Watch Series 7. So if we go to it, it's this green icon right here. And you guys are going to see we have tons of different customized workouts to choose from on this app, anywhere from traditional additional strength training, to outdoor cycle, walking, running, you even have basketball. So there's tons of different fitness activities you guys can choose from while working out. So if you guys want to stay on top of your health with your activity app, you definitely should use the workout app so you guys can track how many calories you've burned, all the movement and standing, and all the overall activities you use with this workout app. Because like I said, there's tons of different workouts to choose, and they're all customized and designed for your preferences. So say you like basketball, you can even track how many calories, how much movement, how long you've worked out for with this workout app. So they go hand in hand. So definitely check out the activity app and the workout app when you get your smartwatch. These are both worth checking out. And let's move on to another feature and another app that actually goes hand in hand with both of these apps. The Apple Watch Series 7 actually does a great job at tracking your sleep for overall health and well-being because as we know, sleep is very important. And this Apple Watch does a great job at tracking that and allowing you to improve on your sleep overall. And this is the sleep app right here. If we click on this, you're going to see I already have a schedule for my bedtime and wake up from 12 a.m. to 7.45. So this is my schedule right now. But if we click full schedule right here, you guys are going to see a little more information about that so I have my sleep schedule every day from 12 a.m. to 7 45 and it also gives me my sleep goal of seven hours and I can also add a schedule if I want so I can choose my days my wake-up time what time I want my alarm to go off in the morning and if you sleep with your Apple watch on by that time when the alarm goes off your Apple watch will vibrate and that'll act as your alarm to wake you up opposed to having a noise come out of your iPhone so I definitely recommend it, it actually does a great job at waking up it's a strong vibration so this is overall a great app to stay on top of your sleep and improve it's gonna show you what metrics and how many hours you're sleeping a day so I definitely recommend using that data and improve on your sleep and well-being also on top of this when it's time to go to bed your apple watch and your iphone will also let you know that it's time to go to bed and your iphone screen and apple watch screen will actually turn off so you guys don't have to go on your phone and won't be distracted with that so overall this prevents you guys from staying up too late staring at your phone for too long so i definitely think it's worth checking out if you guys want to improve on your sleep and well-being as i've already explained to you guys the apple watch does a great job at improving your health and getting a great night's sleep is one way to do that so i definitely recommend checking out the sleep app when you get the chance on your Apple Watch Series 7. So if we click on that, you guys are going to see this is the mindfulness app right here. And you guys have two options to choose from. You have reflect 
or breathe. And both these options allow you to take a deep breath and reflect on your day as you guys go through them. So if we click on reflect right now, you guys are gonna see, it's gonna say, take a moment to pause, just like this. And then it's gonna say, bring to mind a relationship you cherish and think about and something you can teach you. So we're gonna click begin right here and it's gonna show this vibrant color display right here and it's gonna allow you to sit back, not go on any of your devices and just reflect on your day and appreciate all the great things you have in your life. It's gonna take a minute of your time, so I definitely recommend doing this one minute a day, that's all it takes. It's gonna allow you to reflect and enjoy the moment even more. So once this is done, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the breathing on the mindfulness app, but just for the moment, take a step back and reflect on all the great things you guys have in life. So after you guys are done reflecting, I wanna show you the breathe section on this mindfulness app. We just click breathe, it's gonna click one minute right here, and basically it's gonna say it's gonna be say be still, bring your attention to your breath and just focus on your breathing for one to two minutes. And it's gonna show this vibrant color display like it did for the reflection part of this mindfulness app. But it's gonna say exhale and inhale. It's gonna tell you how to monitor your breath slowly, take deep breaths and inhale. And just continue to do this for one minute and you guys are gonna feel already better right away. I definitely recommend doing this just for one minute. It's gonna be very helpful to your mindfulness and well-being. It's important to take a step back and take a few breaths a day and focus on the things you cherish in life. While I'm showing you guys some apps, I also wanna show you guys the Shortcut app, which is a great app to learn and find music more efficiently. It's a great app and I think it's super fun. They actually have a few games inside the app that I wanna show you guys. So let's go to the Shortcuts app, it's right here. And you guys can see we have Shazam Shortcut and Music Shortcut. So say you wanna find a song, but you don't know what the name of it is but you're hearing it at the moment all you have to do is just click shazam shortcut and it'll actually pick up that song you're listening to and it'll show you what the name of that song is so i'm not playing any music right now but if i didn't i wanted to learn what song that was it'd pop up right here on this shazam icon and i'll be able to download that and add that to my music playlist so i think that's a super good idea for you guys to do if you guys want to find more music that you enjoy then next we have the music quiz icon which is going to allow you to guess which song is playing through your iphone once you click it i think I think it's pretty fun and it allows you guys to guess which song you guys are listening to so let's click music quiz right now it's going to say we're going to play a song right now it's going to allow me to pick the song after i listen to it so it's going to start playing a song any moment on my iphone and then we can click done right here and now it's going to start playing that song just like this as you can hear the songs in the background we click pause and it's going to give me which option of that song it is that i was just listening to and i'm going to choose this one right here and if i'm right it's going to say that i was correct and you guys can keep playing and listening to other music if you guys would like but i think it's a super fun game you guys should check out on the shazam app on your apple watch series 7. it allows for you to kill some time if you have nothing going on so i definitely recommend checking out the music quiz on the shortcuts app on your apple watch series 7. it's definitely worth checking out and you guys can kill some time and have some fun while doing so i know i've showed you guys a lot of apps and a lot of ways to get more acquainted with your smartwatch or your apple watch series 7 but I I do recommend checking out the tips app which is located right here on your apple watch series 7 and by doing this you guys are going to get a better idea of how to use your apple watch you guys are going to learn some more tips and tricks this is going to allow you to have a better experience with your apple watch and overall become an expert and pro while doing so so i definitely recommend checking out this tips app we have a welcome we have a what's new we have a health and fitness tip section we even have a customize your apple watch section in this tips app so definitely check this out when you guys get the chance this is going to allow you to become an absolute Absolute pro while using your Apple Watch. So definitely check this out on your Apple Watch when you guys get the chance. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. These are the best tips, tricks, and hidden features for your Apple Watch. If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more great content like this. I also encourage you guys to go to appfindvip.com and subscribe to our email newsletter to get the best mobile apps and games delivered directly to your email inbox. On top of this, go give us a follow at findvip on Instagram. This is our Instagram account where we're going to be sharing the best features for all the Apple Watches iPhones and all Android technology out there. So thank you guys for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.